All right, perfect. Hey guys. Ooh, don't punch the thing. All right, we're gonna start. Hey guys, welcome to Z Youth. My name is Derek Crawford and I'm the youth pastor here at Zion. And I wanna welcome you guys back. Z Youth is finally back. I cannot be more excited. And so, yeah, welcome. And let's just kind of jump into this today. Uh, I wanna introduce you guys to our sermon series that we're gonna be doing over the next five weeks. Uh, and it's gonna be called Church in the Wild. And the title kind of gives me this impression of like, I took a trip to Peru one time where we actually got to hike through the Amazon rainforest. And like we had machetes and we had a tour guide and we were like chopping down vines. And uh, I don't know if you know Hannah Bartlett, but she was swinging from trees uh, like Tarzan. Like it was, pre it was pretty cool. It was pretty crazy. Uh, and I kind of think about that, like as you're walking through the jungle, like you don't know what you're going to step on, where you're going to step, if you're going to come across an animal, like it was kind of intimidating. It was kind of scary because around any corner there could be something out to devour you or to get you, you know? And so when I think about this sermon series, that's kind of what I'm thinking about, is that as, a, as the church, uh, there's things all around us in this world. We live in a wild and crazy world and that there is evil and deception, you know, all around us. And so this sermon series is going to kind of address that darkness. Uh, we're not gonna shy away from certain topics. We're not gonna run the other way. We're not gonna look down. Uh, we're gonna hit them head on. And so uh, I want this not to be a downer series either. You know, just because there is darkness in this world doesn't mean it has to pull us down. And so I want to be able to, by the end of this, find hope uh, through Jesus and see the important role that the church has to play. And you also play an important role as well. And so that's kind of what we're going to explore. That's gonna be the kind of the, the essence of what we're going to be doing and what we're going to be talking about. And so then after all of that, once we see the darkness, we understand the church's role in it, we understand that you know Jesus is what leads us out of that darkness, we then have to understand what's next. Where, where, does that, where does call on our life push us outward? And so that's, kind of be, that's gonna kind of be the flow over the next few weeks. And so today I wanted to actually walk you through the verse that kind of got me thinking about this, step by step through, through it. And it actually comes from 1 Peter 5, 6 through 11. So if you wanna follow along with me at home, go ahead, get out your Bibles. It's 1 Peter 5, 6 through 11. And so it begins. So humble yourself under the mighty power of God, and at the right time he will lift you up in honor. Give all your worries and cares to God, for he cares about you. This is that self-awareness that we're going to have to explore of like what is our role in things. Uh, it's very clear here that, you know, that that there's some identity stuff going on. There's some important stuff about humility and trust that we're going to have to work through. And then the, the idea that God cares for us, like understanding that uh, with all of our flaws, with all the stuff that you know, we have going on, God still loves us. And I think that's, that's an important thing to think about as we move forward. So it continues, stay alert, watch out for your great enemy, the devil. He prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. Stand firm against him and be strong in your faith. Remember that your family of believers all over the world are going through the same kind of suffering you are. Here's that darkness I was talking about. The devil is real and looking to devour. We have a call and we're asked to kind of stand strong in it. And we gotta realize that we have to lean, lean on this idea of family and unity because it's gonna play a huge role as we're moving forward. And then it ends with this, in his kindness, God called you to share in his eternal glory by the means of Christ Jesus. So after you've suffered a little while, he will restore you, support you, and strengthen you. And he will place on you a firm foundation. All power to him forever. Amen. So then it ends here with Jesus when he uh, provides us that strength. He restores us. He supports us. He strengthens us. I love it. And so here's what I want you, I want to leave you with today. You know, as you look around this week, I want you to come next week to, with this idea of like, 
Where is darkness around me? Where am I seeing evil in the world? Am I being a part of it? Am I letting it go by and just watching? You know, because I think we like to put on blinders. We like to maybe don't explore the, the dark things in our life. And I, and I want you to do that. I want you to take a minute, look around, see if you can find it, and then bring it to youth or online and we'll, let's discuss it. Let's dive into that darkness next week so that we can hopefully come out the other side. And so that's what I'm asking for. And so I was wondering if you guys would all want to pray with me. So let's pray. Uh, dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for this opportunity to, to begin youth again. Uh, Lord, I want you to protect us as we, as we continue through this night, as we continue through the semester in Z Youth. Lord, just put your hand of protection and guidance and power over, over this program and the kids within it. Lord, keep us safe. Uh, just guide us as we move out into, into the world and we engage with one another. Uh, Lord, we lift it all up to you. Uh, we love you. We praise you. And it's in the powerful name of Jesus we pray. Amen. So finally, if you are new to Z Youth, I want to personally welcome you. And if there's anything from this sermon or if you have any questions, I would love for you to please reach out to me. You can find my contact information here. All right. So thank you so much. I had a blast. Uh, have an awesome week and God bless. <laughs>